Welcome to Sound Healing News. I am your host, Natalie Brown, and this is a special bonus episode of Sounds Heal Podcast. Today, we're diving into some of the most compelling recent research in sound healing. These studies provide fascinating insights into how sound, frequency, and vibration can influence our mental, emotional, and physical well being. I have provided the links to all the research, all the publications in the show notes, wherever you are listening, if you'd like to dive even further into this research. Let's begin with a study that looked at the effects of listening daily to a tuning fork based recording called the triple ohm. A pioneering study led by Debbie Walker and Dr. Neha Sharma, explored the effects of daily listening to the triple ohm track, a composition featuring three layers or octaves of ohm tuning forks and chimes. Over five weeks, participants reported impressive results. 96% experienced improved mood and physical health. 86% noted decreased tension and worry. 84% reported reduced anxiety and mood disturbances. 66% experienced less body pain and muscle stiffness. This study highlights how structured sound therapy like the triple ohm track can be a powerful tool for reducing stress and supporting overall well-being. It's a great example of how sound healing practices are being validated through modern research. Moving from tuning forks to the impact of specific frequencies, a 2025 randomized trial examined how small tuning variations might influence healing outcomes. Researchers compared sound interventions performed with a body monochord tuned to 432 hertz and tuned to 443 hertz in cancer patients. The 432 hertz tuning has drawn attention in recent years for its reputation or claim as a more natural and harmonious pitch, historically linked to theories that it resonates more closely with the body and nature's rhythms. In contrast, 443 hertz was included to represent a higher tuning reference slightly above today's standard of tuning of 440 hertz, allowing researchers to observe whether subtle pitch shifts could lead to measurable physiological differences. The results were striking. Sessions at 432 hertz were associated with lower heart rate and blood pressure as well as improved mood and in reduced anxiety. This suggests that even an 11 Hertz variation in tuning can alter how the body responds to sound. These findings deepen our understanding of how micro changes in vibration might interact with human physiology and open possibilities for clinical or hospital based sound therapy to tailor frequencies that best support relaxation and emotional balance. Staying with 432 Hertz, a 2024 literary review, which looked at 19 studies, delved into the integration of vibration and sound therapies, especially focusing on the effects of 432 Hertz frequencies within modern medical practices. Key insights from the review include that exposure to 432 Hertz frequencies has been associated with reductions in heart rate, blood pressure, and improvements in nervous system function. Incorporating sound therapy into clinical environments has shown potential in enhancing patient comfort and supporting recovery processes. The review emphasizes the importance of bridging ancient sound healing traditions with contemporary medical practices, advocating for research-based integration of vibration and frequency interventions in hospitals and wellness centers. 
This review of studies provides a roadmap for bringing sound therapy into mainstream medical care, highlighting its potential as a complementary approach to traditional treatments. Now let's turn to Singing Bowls. A 2025 systematic review examined 14 quantitative studies spanning healthy adults, clinical pop populations, including cancer patients, PTSD, chronic pain, and emotional stress groups. These interventions varied broadly. Some placed singing bowls directly on the body, others played them at a distance or used recordings, and the durations ranged from single seven minute to 70 minute sessions to multi-week sessions. What the review found is that across many controlled and pre-post studies, Tibetan singing bowl interventions were associated with lower anxiety, reduced depressive symptoms, and decreased subjective stress and tension. Some studies also noted improved quality of life and well-being metrics, though results in that domain were less consistent. Several studies showed increased heart rate variability and lower heart rate, suggesting stronger parasympathetic or rest relax engagement. In neural measures, some studies observed increased delta theta activity linked to relaxation and meditative states and reduced alpha beta gamma bands implying lowered cognitive arousal. The interventions were generally well tolerated, low risk, non-invasive and easy to deliver. And in all cases without adverse effects reported. So in summary, through this review, Tibetan singing bowl interventions show promising signals for reducing stress and modulating autonomic and brain activity. And a side note that all of these studies are referring to Tibetan singing bowls, also considered Himalayan bowls or metal bowls. Building on that, another study looked at the physiological and psychological effects of sound meditation with crystal and metal singing bowls. The findings revealed reduced negative mood and increased positive effect, improvements in blood pressure, heart rate, and respiratory function, enhanced spiritual well being, and a greater sense of relaxation. This study reinforces the versatility of singing bowls showing measurable benefits across mental, physical, and emotional domains. It is evidence that these practices are not just soothing, they're transformative. Shifting from the macroscopic to the microscopic, this final review explored the vibratory frequencies produced by organs and cells in the body. Here's what researchers found. Each organ and cell type has a unique frequency associated with health. Deviations from these frequencies can indicate disease with cancer cells often showing much higher frequencies than healthy ones. Sound-based strategies and certain electromagnetic interventions can help restore healthy cellular vibrations potentially offering both diagnostic and therapeutic benefits. This study is fascinating because it links sound healing directly to biology at the cellular level, suggesting that instruments like bowls and tuning forks may influence not just our minds and bodies, but the fundamental rhythms of our cells. The review highlights sound therapy as a promising approach for both treatment and prevention based on the principle that the body's organs and cells have healthy vibratory frequencies. Sound interventions can promote deep relaxation, supportive emotional release, and help alleviate physical discomfort, while also complementing conventional therapies like cancer treatment. 
It also outlines how different organs produce measurable frequencies and how deviations may signal disease and how targeted sound strategies can help restore healthy cellular vibrations. Taken together, these studies show that sound healing is far more than a meditative experience. From tuning forks and singing bowls to frequency specific interventions and cellular level vibration, science is uncovering how sound can influence every level of human health. These findings highlight sound healing as a validated, evidence based approach for supporting mental, physical, and even cellular well being. Let's keep exploring and dig deeper with the articles and the show notes. Thank you for tuning in to Sound Healing News. Stay tuned for more insights into the fascinating world of sound, frequency, and healing. <laughs>